was born in Pulau Pinang. My parents are from Myanmar. I got the bursar here. I went to apply for an IC for uh, seven years ago. So they said I might can uh, apply for an IC. But after that, I got a letter said cannot. It's not approved because one of your parents is from is from Malaysia. I finished my primary studies in a government school. So I finished my UPSR in a government school. Even it was hard for me when I was sitting for my my UPSR. I don't know some changes in law, and then they said I can't sit for the UPSR. So we talked to the principal, the, the, but the principal was kind enough let me sit for the for the UPSR. I was able to enroll in Form One. Even in Form One, I get a lot of trouble. It was like okay, because you have no IC, you can study unless you get a student visa. Even to get student visa is so easy. Form one finished it, so I cannot enter form two. I can I cannot I couldn't enroll in form two because they said uh, either you get an IC or you get a student visa, then you can enroll. Otherwise, you can't. And in 2005, it happened for me to go to the UNSCR. There, I met my very old friend who was already enrolled in Harvard. So I was uh, I was talking to him, and then all of a sudden came this conversation. He was like, Hey, uh, he said, I heard you are not. Not and uh, going to school anymore. So yeah, cause you know I didn't have the IC. So he was like, "Eh, hey, why don't you come and join Harvard?" I was like, "What's Harvard?" He said, "Oh, this is a center which provides education for the children." I said, "Eh, hey, but how come you don't you don't have IC? So how can you you can enroll?" He said, "Eh, hey, second, no need, no need, no need. Just come here as long as you want to study. That's that's matter the most. Whether you are Malaysian or Malaysian, they'll take anyone." 2010 and 2011, two years. I work at Harvard. This is my third year, so I joined college just this year. I joined college. It's the football studies, diploma in football studies at CyberLink. This is my going to be my third semester. I see the life changes here through education. That's the only way for you, like Andy Pan and Pastor always say, or the education is the only way to break the cycle of poverty. You know, because if you want to break the cycle of your family. Then education is the only key, and we didn't know about it last time. Even though they'll keep telling us, we never knew about it until we experienced it. Until I see, I went through the change, and I see my friends went through the change. Then say, yeah, whatever they said was true. Education is the only key. I love Harvard. You know, Harvard is really near to my heart. Whatever Andy Pan and Pastor have done for me, they have done a lot for me. They have done a lot for me. I think I wouldn't be here where am I if there's no Harvard. You know, I think I can do. It. I can finish my education or continue my education if there is no harvest. They have done a lot for me, so I I really love them and I really love harvest. I am 12 years old and I study at Harvest Training Center.